Hello there, Aku here again. This is a tutorial video on applying and logistics ME network. I've got quite an extensive ME network here in my base and uh, a couple of subscribers have asked me to do a little bit of a guide on how to set something like this up. So I'm going to do that. It's going to be, this episode's going to be a little bit basic then the second episode's going to be about getting into machines and auto crafting. This here is auto crafting. Um, we won't get into that in this first episode. I'm going to save that for the second one. And the first one, we're going to set up what we need to store all our gear in uh, ME Network. So first of all, there's one thing from Applied Logistics that gets put into WellGen. That's called Quartz Crystal, as you can see here. This is a couple of bits of silk touch just to show you. And when you mine that normally, you get both Quartz Dust and Quartz Crystal. Just ignore all this stuff in my inventory for now. We'll get into that in a bit. You get Quartz Dust and Quartz Crystal. You normally get a bit more than that. And you've got um, a really small amount there. But you generally get around the same amount of each. And these are two things that go into just about everything that's from the ME, from the Applied Logistics mod uses this stuff. But first of all, I want a quick run through what you can, you can use these for. Quartz Dust. You can make a thing called a grinder. You can use that to make crystals into dust when you're first starting up. I've never had the need to make one. I'd have saved my crystals and dust until I've got enough to actually start a ME network. And by that time, you'd have machines to be able to do that anyway. You can use a compressor to make dust into crystals. You can make you can use a macerator or a pulverizer to make crystals into dust. So you've got to, you can convert them using your normal machines once you've got stuff set up. Now. We need a lot of this stuff. Quartz fiber goes into ME cable. ME cable is all this stuff you can see here that connects all your machines together. Um, these things are called buses, which actually attach the machines. But all the bits are connecting cable in between, like uh, that piece there and so on. That's all ME cable. We're going to need quite a bit of that, and it goes into some of the other recipes as well. So you'll lose, you'll use quite a lot of dust for that. But then the most thing you use dust for is smelting it into silicon. Silicon, I don't know if there's anything else there. No, just use a different thing. And there, there you go, there's the conversion to crystals. So, if we look at silicon, we need to come out into that because that's what we make these two things with. Basic processor assembly, advanced processor assembly. And these go into quite a lot of things. All your storage units have these in. Your basic ones have them. Your high level ones have both. And... That's a different way of making them with an assembly table. This is a two-stage recipe. You make this, and then you have to put it in the furnace. So you have to furnace the quartz, then craft this, then furnace it again to get the actual finished product, which will be that. That's another way of doing it if you want to do it with a laser crafting assembly table. Um, so that's all, that's all the uses for the dust. The uses for the crystal, uh, quite a bit more. Um, you can ignore this, this is for a manufactory loaded farm setup, so that's just another mod that uses quartz crystal. There's this quartz cutting knife that you'll need if you saw in the recipe for the processors. They use a quartz cutting knife, and this does its durability as you use it, so you have to make more than one of them as time goes on. But that use a couple of crystals for that. Then there's Sorry, I should have gone that way. Then there's various tools and stuff. I've never made any of these. I prefer to save my quartz crystal so I can make an ME network as soon as I can. So I wouldn't be waste. I'd, I'd class the time that you could use these. You'd want to be saving them, in my opinion. So I, I've never made any of these. Um, one thing that you're going to want to make a lot of is conversion matrix. This goes into quite a lot of things. If you look there, there's these two tools which we won't be looking at because that's not part of the network. That's just a couple of extra things you can do with Applied Logistics. I'm purely focusing on this on a storage network. If you look there, ME Chest uses a conversion matrix. ME Interface, which attaches to machines. It also lets you put in from other type of mods. So you can come from a Tesseract, for example. If you want to put things into your system through a Tesseract, you have to put it in through a ME Interface um, or through a Buildcraft Pipe or anything. They're, they're used for that. You can put crafted patterns directly into machines with these and both the import and the export bus uses ME interface so you'll use a lot of these and they all have conversion matrix in and access terminal that's how you get to your stuff as one and then these other things here 
pattern provider, that's for the crafting, we'll get to that in a bit. And uh, pattern encoder, preformer, they're both. That's for crafting, and that's that's. we'll get to that in this episode. That's for um, organising what goes on your storage disks. So we'll come to that a bit later, but they all use conversion matrices, matrices. And um, as you can see, they use both quartz crystal and a processor, which so that which uses dust as well. So every one of them is two crystal and one dust, and some other stuff. Most of the stuff is generally iron, redstone, glass, a um, bit of glowstone for the stuff that uses the diamond ones of these. But most of the time, it's iron, redstone, and glass that you want other that you want plenty of as well. So that's the shapes crafting bit of that I think just double check we've gone for everything um, no we ain't gone for everything at all so it was up to there conversion matrix next thing is a storage cell that uses these now storage cells go into high level storage cells as well but the, you make the bigger storage cells by mil making multiples of these going to we'll get to that in a bit this is for a wireless I never I made a wireless bit never really used it but if you that's the kind of thing you like you can access you're crafting from anywhere in your base as long as you've got enough upgrades and that's what the upgrades are for and this is a wireless booster this upgrades the the range of your wireless bit it still doesn't go very far but that's the kind of thing you like that you might want to use them I don't personally use them I'm I have my system set up so I'm crafting near where my town is anyway now what else we got here there's them two tools again like I said I'm going to ignore them and then blank patterns are for crafting controller is our basic block that we need Every ME network needs one of these. This is what puts power into the system. Without that, you've got no network. So that's basically uh, the CPU of your network, if you will. And then assembly containment wall and crafting CPU, they're part, they're part of crafting. So we'll look at them in the next episode. And finally, you've got a wrench. I don't make one of these because the Omni wrench works for Omni tools. That works for everything. So I've never had to make the quartz wrench. I just use that. And I think that covers all the uses of quartz. Let me just have a quick check through. So it was up to page nine there, yep. And then, as like I said, you can pulverize or macerate into dust. And yep, that's it, cool. So, as I said, the first thing I'm gonna be making, I've got some fabricators set up with um, patterns in here. Is an ME controller, I've got one of these. I have made a few bits for a little basic network here. So that's four quartz crystal, and that's it's the advanced processor. Well, the advanced one, I think we've got this end, there we go. Instead of a gold, it's the same, but it's a diamond. So, it's a little bit expensive. It takes a diamond each time. So, it can be quite expensive early game. But, once you've got one of them, put that through your furnace. You know, one of these, ME controller. And that pops down. We'll put that in my little network here. So, ME controller, as you can see, just a plain block. It's got a thing on the front there, but there's nothing reading in it. It's because power is low, it's getting no you no power, so it's offline. But one thing you've got to be careful of with an ME network is you can have all your items in it, but if you run out of power, then you can't get your items. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a redstone energy cell next to that. There we go. It's online now. Six units, it's not doing anything because I've got nothing else attached to it. But that's all that's job is is to take power in. And it'll show you on the front if it's got power. And once we start adding things to this. We can see what's what. So the most basic network you can get is a controller and our next thing, an ME chest. Let's look at the ME chest there. Straightforward, one of the matrix things, which I've got the pattern for somewhere. There we go. So as we said, one dust, two crystals. One of them goes in there, basic iron glass, and a chest. Pretty straightforward. That is our first thing we add to this as you can see I can't actually put anything in there yet I'll show you for why in a minute but now if we look at our controller we're using a bit more power we're using an extra one unit because we've got that on there how can we make it so this can be usable well we need to put in a storage cell that's what this is this is your 64k storage cell now you make storage cells You make it so they can accept more things as you go. So the first storage cell you're going to be able to make is a 1K storage cell. And that takes a thing called a storage cell, funny enough. 1K storage, I keep calling it cells, but 1K storage disk, I suppose. If 
look at the recipe for a 1k storage disk you see it's got this basic storage cell in there and again as I said before it's generally redstone glass and iron so basic vanilla stuff around it but to make that thing you need four quartz crystal one quartz dust in there that's how you get your basic one once you've got your basic one it'll be inside one of these casings and you can't make the casing on its own you can only make it when you're actually making your first one of these so what you'd have to make is storage cell separate make one of these let's just do that real quick It'd be easier I'm gonna get some materials out of my main network here I'm gonna get a stack of iron I'm gonna get a stack of glass a stack of redstone and what else am I gonna need probably um, oh, of course yeah. stack of um, quartz right but let's make our very basic storage cell here that one so I want four of them four of them and I'm going to make a processor now I'm, I'm going to also craft some processors here so we've got some uh, we've got plenty of the advanced ones so I'll take them and is that the right one? Oh, bad. Oops. so that's what I want and I'll make a uh, of them well, they should come through pretty quick we'll set one for now So one of them, that gets us our storage cell and then to make that into an actual 1k storage unit from the right it was 3 iron, 2 bits of glass, 3 bits of redstone there we go, 1k storage cell, so that's our most basic storage let's put that in there now we'll put that in there, now this chest can accept things if you see if you put anything in there it actually adds to the amount of bytes used so you're storing things as as data, it's uh, ME Mass Energy, I believe, is what ME stands for in the, in the name ME Network. So everything we store in there takes some bytes up. So if you see, if we put a few things in there, that's taken up 65 bytes. Let's uh, stick everything we've got in there. You see, that's like taking 10% of that chest up already. Each additional separate item type takes up a certain amount, and then adding more of the same item type sits up a little bit less so you could have quite a large stack of one thing in there but still you very you can see you're going to be quite limited on the amount of storage you've got when you've only got one of these 1k storages but what we can do is we can upgrade it there's also something else we can do we can make this guy this guy's called an ME storage bus now that takes one of these ME interfaces and then a bit of ME cable. So we mentioned ME cable, it used it uses the where is it? The basic there it is. That's your basic recipe for ME cable. There's different types because there's different colours. You can create subnetworks, which I've not had to do yet. You can create subnetworks by making cables group uh, different colours and then the different colour would keep on a separate network. There's also There's also um, a different type of cable called. Oh, I've done it again. Different type of cable. Is that on the it? No. There's a different type of cable that can separate a network. You can, you can use it to switch bits on and off. But all we need to use at the minute is the basic cable there. You can make using that quartz fibre and redstone. So we want to be making some cable and then to make this semi storage bus. As I said, all the buses use this semi interface, which again uses a bit of cable and a conversion matrix. So I've got one of them made. What we can do with that is, if you're a bit low on quartz, but you want to start a little system up, what you can do is you can make some chests. Now I've just got a crystal chest here, but you could always use barrels, or you could use um, man factory deep storage chests. So you've got options. What you do is you just shift click that onto the side of there. Now that is connected to that and this is connected to the network. What we can do now is we can specify things that will, this storage bus here, what you can do is you can specify things that are going to get stored in the attached inventory to this. So now what we can do is, what we actually need before that, which I should have put on first, was the terminal. So 
what we're going to look at now is one more thing. This is ME access terminal, matrix, cable, and normal stuff again. What this does, this lets you get into your system. This is one here. That's just your basic ME terminal. Now, if you've got standard configs, then as soon as you press any letters, any keys, you'd start searching here. I've got it changed, so you actually have to click on the search box to search. But you can search by anything. So if I was looking for iron, there you go, that's everything with iron in the name. And as you can see, I've got crafting recipes in here, but these are the things that I've stored in here with the numbers, and then these are the things that I can craft that I've got none in the system of. I'll get this, I'll say, I'll get to crafting next episode. There's your basic access terminal, and there's an upgrade for that called a crafting terminal. Look at that, that's a, that's uses an access terminal, and a crafting table, and a couple of other things, a little basic storage cell. That's what we've got a spare one of here, just so I can show you the difference. If we add that to our network, you see now we've got more units being used. We've got one for the access terminal, one for the storage bus I put on, and one for the chest. So you, you build up more power use as you add more stuff. You see, this is like the other one, but as well as having the thing here, it's got a crafting interface, so you can actually craft things in here. I don't actually use this one myself because what I like to do is, if you shift left click, put stuff in there. If you shift left click, it takes things out if you're using the normal one. If you do it with this, it doesn't take things out, it puts them into there. I'd rather things come straight to my inventory and I'm used to shift left clicking. So I find this a little bit awkward, especially because I use a pocket crafting table and I craft most things in my inventory anyway. So for me, the normal one is better, but you may prefer this one. And what we can do is, if I put quartz dust in there, then it'll put it into this ME chest there, you see, it's gone in there. If I put redstone in there, it hasn't gone in there because this storage bus has said any redstone in the system goes into this attached inventory, so that puts redstone straight into there. So if that was a barrel or a deep storage unit, I could have, if it was deep storage unit, you could have 2 million, I think it's 2 million redstone in there. So it's a really good way of making things like redstone, cobblestone, dirt, stuff like that, that you have a lot of, not take up byte space on your network. That's pretty cool, I quite like that. I don't, I've not actually got any of them in use because I had quite, I had quarries going when I started making this. So I, I had quite a lot of quartz, so I could make quite a lot of storage. So I've got plenty of storage, which I'll get to in a minute. So what happens then when you fill this up? Well, once this is full, you can't fit any more things in your system. So you need to upgrade this. What you can do with these is if you put them in your hand, hold shift down, right click, it pops the storage cell out. So that's come out now. That's just a blank storage cell housing. What we can do is we can build, so that was our basic one. We can build the next level up. No, no, that was our basic one. Storage cell. And the next level up, you see, it uses three storage cells and a bit of quartz to make a storage segment. So you need three of these, so it'll be 12 crystal and three quartz dust in there. It'll make you one of these. And then you can keep going all the way up. So that's for the 4K. So if I made one of them, I could just combine that in my crafting thing there, and that'll make a 4K storage cell, so that'll get us a bit more space, and you can keep going up the path. The next one there takes three of them, so that'd be three each of these, which each take three of them, so that's nine of them getting used now. As you can see it starts adding up on the amount of quartz, because every basic one uses four. And then finally, you've got this big storage cluster, which gives you the 64K one. You see these top two use diamond and glowstone, the bottom two use redstone. And the gold one so the top two are more expensive on that as well you see the storage cluster there it wants three of these three of these want nine of them nine of them want 27 of them 27 of them want a whole lot of them did i do that right yep. maybe i maybe got wrong with the mass somewhere but at the end of the day you know, when you're making these 64k, I've got a 64k here. By the time you're making a 64k, there's a lot of resources going into it. There's a lot of quartz have gone into it. There's your 64k storage cluster. And as I said, you can just put that in there with an empty cell. That makes it into that. And uh, that can go into there. So now, 64k is quite a lot of storage. You see if I put one thing in there, 
it uses quite a bit more bytes than the one K one did. But that's okay. It's it's you can sixty five thousand is a hell of a lot of storage. I'll just show you real quick in my network here. I've got a thing here called a ME drive, which is once you get past one chest. Rather than put more chests on, what you want is one of these things. I keep one chest here because I have one thing. I have one random, random storage unit there that just anything can go into. All these I've got in this ME drive are pre-formatted, which we'll get to in a bit. You can see they've got a name. And there's only certain things that can go into them. Now, if I just take this ingots one out for a second, and this thing here is called an ME preformatter. This is how you preformat something. If I put this cell into there. You can see that's what's pre-formatted onto that. Um, what you've got to do is you need one of each item. You need to click it into there with a blank cell, and give it a name. Click format. It'll add all them, all them items that can now be put into that in, in, into that storage cell. So that's why they're all there. So if now if we put this back, if we look at that, that's got 30k use of 65. So it's about half full. Uh, if we look in here. All the ingots there are all in that first storage cell. So if we take that back out again, now look, they're all gone. The ingots have gone. The this will store things in the order the cells are. So my ingots are always at the top. You can see there's quite a lot of ingots there. I've got like uh, 42k of iron, 27k aluminium, and that's only taking up half the storage block. So you can see once we've got 64k ones, they can store a hell of a lot of stuff, hell of a lot. So that's my ingots one I say I've got one for gems which includes like coal uranium and um, quartz dust and stuff goes into that one I've got crafted items uh, blocks like dirt cobble stuff like that that's that's only got 14k in it and if we look a bit further down here uh, what kind of blocks we've got in there we've got 23k dirt uh, cobble 11k obsidian I try and keep my stocks quite low on some stuff uh, I don't I don't use that using level limiters and stuff. I'll show that in the second episode as well. So that's how you build up a really thorough network. Now you see I've got some empty ones in here. I just wanted to actually fill the thing up. So I've got empty ones in here that what I did with them is I just put them in to there with an item in that I knew I wasn't gonna get in my system naturally, so I use an iron nugget. And I just put an iron nugget in there, call them empty, so nothing will go into these until I reformat them. So if I decided I wanted these to have glass in, I could put glass in there, I could format it, I could call it glass and then all oh, my glass would go into this cell. As it is, I don't want to do that. I want to clear it, oops. That can go back in there, that empty one. And what we can do, I should show you the recipe for the format real quick. So, pre formatter, usual conversion matrix, crafting table, usual stuff. That's so how you make that thing, and now, so I've got this storage cell here, the one that I made, with my little 1k storage cell, so we'll put them back together. Now, if I wanted to go into here, I could put that in there, and if I wanted this to hold quartz and processes, I could call it E stuff, and click format. That's now formatted, it's got a name there, and now if we come back to our system over here let's take that let's say uh, let's get that one there first now hey stuff we can put that in there we can't put that in there because it's not pre-formatted it'll accept that it'll accept that it won't accept anything else because pre-formatted cell in there can only have pre-formatted pre stuff in makes sense yeah look that's pretty cool I like that so what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to set things out there. I'm going to put my unformatted 64k one in there. And I'm just going to put that in there. And what you can do is if you don't want the formatting in there anymore, put it in there. Right click the stuff out. Get rid of the name. Click format again. And that's a blank unformatted one again now. So anything can go in there again. So there's your basic little network. The next things to add to it, once you add more cells, once you want to put more cells in, will be the ME drive. ME drive is just like a storage area, so two quartz, dust, a chest, some usual bits. Add that to your network and then you can have 
So 8 goes into that. Uh, is it 8 or 10? Let's have a go. Let's have a look. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So 10. And what I like to do is, like I said, I like to have all them pre formatted using the pre formatter. And I like to have one ME chest with a non formatted disk in. So that anything that comes into my system that doesn't have a home in there goes into this chest. And then I can decide if it needs pre formatting. So what I should really do is. Let's have a look at my crafted. So I'm going to take that out for a sec. I'm going to put that in my preformer. See what's preformed onto it. There's all them things there. What I can do is I can make it so state cells, repeaters, wireless transmitters. I can make it so they all go on there as well. So let's just click that there, that there, and that there. Click format again. That's updated. The preformatting. Put that back in there. Where's it gone? There it is. And now, when I put these back in the system through the, in, through the interface there, they're no longer in there. Because now they've got a home. So if you go down crafted bits, you see there they are. At the end of the crafted bits, they're all stored, stored together with them. So now that's how you add things to it. So now that's got it had 25 items. No, it's got 27, so there's a couple more bits in there. I've took the processes out, so that's gone down again. But there you go. That's how you sort of preform and your, and your ME drive out. So once you get to that point, you've got quite a quite a decent storage. You can't get anything into your system yet, though. And for that, we need to make an interface. So I'm going to auto craft an interface. Nice and quick. So click on that. Click begin. And this should come back pretty quick. There we go. So, add this to our system. What happens with this is this can hold certain items in it if you put them into your export configs. So if I had glass in there, if I tried putting glass into the system, it'll store one glass in there because I've said this can hold one glass. So you can use this to export stuff into other networks. But where's all the rest of the glass gone? Well, it's gone into the, it's gone into the system because it'll kick things straight out of that. So let's put glass in the chest. So if we didn't have this set to anything at all, we try putting things in there. They just bounce straight out, and they get put into the chest. So you can access them from the terminal, and just just show that this still works. If you try putting redstone in there, they'll get bounced straight back into that chest because of the storage bus. Very nice. So this is really useful for putting stuff into your system. So if we wanted to make something nice and simple with um have any wooden pipes, stone. Do, 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 do. I don't think I've got any wooden pipe, have I? Mm, can't see it if I have, let's just make a bit. Two bits of wood. And a bit of glass. Some wooden pipe. And uh Put on our circuit gate there. And I've got a chest in here. Nope. Yep, that'll do. And the chest. Let's see what's in there. I think there might be some stuff in there from my farm craft area. Yep. Um, let's just change the colour of that real quick. Let's get a bit of red. Change the middle one into red so that'll be an empty chest now. There we go. Pick that back up. So if this was just, uh, your input from your quarry. You could have that there. Wooden pipe. And engine on our target gate. Set to uh, items in inventory. Energy pulls. So now if things come in from your quarry. Oops, see that's why I don't like that. <laughs> Stores things in there, quite weird. Um, I like to just shift click things into my inventory quicker. So, see if my quarry was putting all these things in. They'd get pushed through into the interface, and because the interface isn't accepting them, then we get put into the network. Very nice, very tidy. So that's how you get things in. Um, my system over here is very similar, but instead of using a wooden pipe and a chest, it's using a tesseract 
thermal expansion, but it's basically doing the same thing. So my my little pre-sorting thing here, I've got a little system here that sorts out a lot of stuff, sends things to a void pipe over here, like cobble that I don't want. Everything else just gets sent into this Tesseract, which puts it into this interface, which adds it to my network. Very tidy. That's how we get things in. You see they're all happily going in there. And so you can always uh, you can use these for getting things out of your system as well. But we'll come to that sometime later. So there's your basic system, getting things in. And then next episode, which I'm going to make once this one's uploading, I'll show you how to connect to machines, get things in and out of machines. And we'll look at making an auto crafting setup. So thank you very much for watching. I hope um, it was useful. Let me know in the comments if it was useful or not. I, I'll probably make the second episode before this one's uploaded anyway. So even if it's not useful, you're probably going to get slumbered with having to watch it. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching as always. And uh, I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.